and welcome to Resale Robin. Greetings on Sunday from Tokyo, guys. I'm actually in Akihabara right now, very early in the morning. It's been kind of rainy the last few days, so it's been harder to get good footage during the day because it's been pretty rainy. I mean, it is what it is. Today's supposed to be sunny. We're actually going to be doing a little fun thing in Akihabara a little bit later. We're going to do some game hunting today. But I wanted to say thank you guys so much for all the subscribers we've been getting. If you like the content that I've been putting out, please make sure you guys subscribe to the channel. Like the video as always. You know, that helps out a lot and it helps the channel to grow. Don't worry, hidden gems and all that stuff will be coming as soon as I get back from Japan. We're going to have one more video on Wednesday and then finally a follow up to break down everything we did on Sunday. We're going to go over everything so we can go over and see what I picked up. You guys will really enjoy that one. But uh, we're going to do a few, few little highlights of what I picked up today. So let's get to those as soon as we're done with a little bit of game hunting. We're going to do a breakdown right after that. So enjoy the game hunt. We'll be right back. Japan. There's actually a book off right down the road, so we're gonna check that one out too. But let's go. I think I would just find this. Mario Artist for the 64 DD. This will be around $55. I am buying this. Let's freaking go. Here we are at this hard off and hobby off. Let's see what we can find. Check this out, guys. 1600 yen for Mario for the Famicom system. Couldn't get any video of this in the store, guys, but I did pick up Pokemon Ruby complete in box for about $30, $33, $35. And I got The Legend of Zelda for Super Famicom for right at like 18 bucks. Let's go. There we have it, guys. Pepsi Man! Okay, so over the last few days, picked up some more amazing stuff, guys. We're gonna go over some of this stuff. I have it in my backpack right here. Uh, the first one I wanna show off is actually, I picked up uh, Yu-Gi-Oh! Duel Monsters, the original one for the uh, Game Boy. Picked this up for 400 yen, incomplete in box. Really excited to have this one. This one, I'm so stoked. I picked up Pokemon Gold, complete in box for 3,600 yen, right around like 28 US dollars. Super excited to have this one. 
I also picked up Pokemon Silver complete in box for 4,000 yen, so right around 28, 29 dollars complete in box. I'm really excited to have that one. Picked up Final Fantasy right here, complete in box for 1,100 yen on the Super Famicom. I'm really excited to have this one, guys. I picked up complete in box Super Mario World for the Super Famicom for 1,800 yen, so right around 10 US dollars. Really excited to have that one. Uh, Super Dragon Ball Z Super Budokai 10. It's uh, the RPG. 18 to another $10 for a complete in box game. This one's very around $40, $50 US. I got a complete in box Pokemon Stadium 2 for right around $9 US. Picked up Fire Emblem on the Super Famicom. The other one. I already got one of them. This is the other one. And this was right around, ah, the sticker's gone on it, but I, oh, there it is. Another $9. Super excited for that one. We got Pokemon Penball for the Game Boy Color complete in box for right around 17, 18 US dollars. I got Zelda, the Ocarina of Time complete in box for about 12 US dollars. I got Super Smash Brothers for the N64 for again around nine US dollars complete in box. I got F Zero for the Nintendo 64. Uh, the sticker's not on this now, but I got it for actually only two thousand yen. Amazing pickup on that one, guys. At twelve bucks. We can cross this one off the list. I don't have the list on me right now. I'll cross it off at the recap video. Super Star Wars, guys, for the NES. One of the grails I was after. Complete in box. Didn't expect that. Paid about $23 for this. Complete in box. Super excited to have this one. This is actually probably the rarest find. Well, part is rare because I couldn't believe I found this. It's actually Mario Odyssey Artist for the N64 DD. Now, that is a... Uh, like a disk drive system that was put out for the Nintendo 64 that never came out in the US. It's like the this is like basically the Mario Paint 2, if you will. Really rare game. I paid 8,200 yen, so I paid right around $60 for this. Or $55. So excited to have this one in the collection. Uh, uh, Chrono Trigger, complete in box. I picked it up for only 2,000 yen, so $12 complete in box Chrono Trigger. I picked up uh, Pokemon Ruby complete in box. I paid 5,000 yen basically, or 27 US dollars, 28 US dollars. I picked up Pokemon Stadium 1 on the N64, and it does include the transfer pack for only about 17, 16 US dollars complete in box. We got Kirby Return to Dreamland for the Super Famicom for 700 yen, so right around four and four dollars and fifty cents complete in box. We got a Super Game Boy complete in box for only 500 yen, guys. So like three U.S. dollars complete in box. We picked up. Legend of Zelda for the Super Famicom, Link to the Past, for only about 17 US dollars complete in box. I picked up Animal Crossing on the Nintendo 64, complete in box for 3,000 yen. Right around like 20, 27, 18 US dollars, 20 US dollars. So excited to have this one, guys. Oh, let's see here. Picked up some. Super Famicom, some Famicom Disk System games. Picked up uh, Common Rider for 1300 yen. Super excited for that one. This one you guys are gonna like. Mario 2, or the Mario the Lost Levels, if you will, in the US, for only right around like nine US dollars. Uh, I got the pair of these I was really looking for it. The Famicom Detective games, the ones that never released in the US, they were on the Famicom Disk System. Uh, for 1400 and 1500 yen. Super excited to have those. 
picked up some Nintendo Switch stuff. Don't worry, I'm not gonna miss out on Switch. I got a uh, Ace Detective, or you know, Phoenix Wright. Uh, one, two, and three collection for only about mm, 22 US dollars. The Hatsumi Miku game that came out on the Switch is not out in the US for about, about $20. Uh, Ghost Trick, Phantom Detective. I'm really excited about this one. Never released in the US, the release of it on the Switch. Got it for like 20 bucks. And I don't know what this game is called. Let me know in the comments down below. I need to look it up more when I get home. But it looks like it's a shmup, which I'm pretty excited about. And it was only about $20. So it's got some great Switch games. Eh. Last but not least, we got it, guys. Pepsi Man. Oh, yeah. So excited for this. I had to pay up for this, guys. I couldn't find it in any thrift stores anywhere here in Tokyo. I couldn't even find it. Like, I went so far out rule, guys. I went all over. Couldn't even find a copy of Pepsi Man. Uh, a store here in called Trader here in Akihabara actually got it in last night. I was so excited. They wanted uh, 18,000 yen or in this case, it was 120 US dollars. Still cheaper than buying it on eBay, guys. Like 170 on eBay. Super excited to have this Pepsi man though. So, I, And I don't have a pit with me right now, but I got a not in box, but a complete functional good condition orange, spice orange Nintendo GameCube. We can cross that one off the list as well. So that leaves, uh, oh, we're gonna cover this real fast. Uh, the two other horror games that were on the Switch were actually Korean releases. They don't seem to have that game here in Japan. So that's something I'm gonna have to order online for another date. I'm not gonna count those on my list. And if we take that off the list, we're down to one item left. We need to find Neon Genesis Evangelion for the Nintendo 64 complete in box. If we hit that, we are going to do the giveaway like you guys wanted let me know in the comments down below what game do you want given out do you want a super famicom game or do you want a nintendo switch game uh, let me know we need to get this vote in by wednesday so that i can pick that for you guys and then we'll give it away on sunday's video next sunday's video we'll talk about how we're going to do that i want to thank you guys so much i'm so excited we're going to go do some more game hunting but as always, stay savage.